Hello everyone, this is The Unspeakable at Innerscapes Art Studios. These are golden fluid acrylics mixed with GAC 800 and Floetrol. So here I am painting over this painting, which I made a few days ago, which was one of my spin paintings that came out with some very lovely detail, but overall was not expressive of something I wanted to post. And today I am using up these paints. And I would not recommend mixing GAC 800 with Floetrol in equal proportions. It does something very funny. Um, the chemical reaction makes little bumps and textures and thickens the paint in some ways. So I decided to do a swipe that would be able to incorporate the qualities of this medium in an expressive way. So if I did a landscape, sometimes texture in a landscape works and creates depth and expression. That was my reasoning. <laughs> but apart from reasoning, this kind of painting, where it is expressive art, goes beyond reason. So it really, once you set your intention to do that, it really gathers up the energies of the day and it becomes part of the painting. So these paintings are like a journal without words. And I've said this before, I just do it, I guess, for a record of this time because it's such an exquisite time and it's also a very difficult time. And the combination of the two, it's, it's so easy to get lost in either one. How great everything is, how beautiful it is, how blessed we are, how joyful and and precious it is to be alive and it's also easy to get caught up in the responsibilities the heavy emotions the weight of ordinary life trials and uh, survival issues and health issues so the carrying both with a sense of not falling into either is a challenge, a worthy challenge, I must say. And painting with paints and a pouring medium that I bought and paid for and made myself that is very unperfect, imperfect, and unsuitable for what I would like to do <laughs> shows me that I have created the situation and I could throw it out. But really, honestly, I can't bring myself to throw out this stuff. It's just way too expensive. So I thought I'd spend the day trying to find out what it does. And I was swiping. All of these colors were underneath the other colors. So I strung swipe for a while. And now um, I have this obsession with suns and moons. But what's happening in the center here is that the Floetrol and GAC are creating thicknesses and troughs. And those uh, spiky lines that I made with the fork are now troughs in the paint. So I'm trying to fill it up and I'm going from one sticky, messy situation to another. Kind of going from the frying pan to the fire. And I won't leave it alone because I had the time to mess with it. <laughs> so it's a mirror. It's an analogy for how I approach other things. Here, since everything was going so much not my way, I decided to do something that I saw Fiona do a few days ago, was put some silicone on a string and then put that onto the painting. Now this is nothing like Fiona's painting, um, but it was I was inspired by 
what she did. And it's very interesting. It adds an interesting component. And these are how the influences around us come into what we do. And we put our own mark on it. And I have noticed that my subscribers influence me as well. And everyone who watches the videos, and especially those of you who leave a comment, really influence me in either a positive or a neutral way. In the center there, I put a drop of silicone, let it spread the paint out, that red was underneath, and then a drop of gold in the middle. This is the dry version. And I definitely have an interpretation here. It's kind of a fun one. I'd love to hear yours. Leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.